Hi, I'm Charlie from the Green Valley English School. Because it's Easter week, I thought it would be fun to make a video explaining what traditions we have in England. Just like in Spain, Easter is centered around the religious celebration. Also like in Spain, we enjoy chocolate eggs and chocolate rabbits. It's common to buy your friends and family small chocolate gifts as well. We also have some very strange traditions in England that don't exist in Spain. Let's take a look at five of the weirdest ones. Number one, rubber duck racing. <coughs> this fun activity is often organized by the village council or sometimes the village pub. Everybody buys a small plastic duck, just like the kids have for the bath. And it has a number printed on the bottom. Their name and number is added to the list of people playing the game. All the ducks are put into a big bag and taken to the nearest stream or river. Everybody watches as the ducks are released into the river where they float gently down with the current. I remember as a child running alongside the river, trying to keep my duck in sight. It was such good fun. Whosever duck got to the finish line first won the race. The prize was normally a big Easter egg. Number two, hot cross buns. These sweet treats are like a mixture of cake and bread. The distinctive cross on the top is a symbol of the Christian cross of Easter. We eat them for breakfast or for an afternoon snack. We toast them and then spread loads of butter on them. They have raisins and currants, and sometimes they have dried orange peel in them as well. They are delicious. Would you like to try to make them yourself? I've put a link to a good recipe in the description below, so you can have a go at making your own hot crust buns. Number three, maypole dancing. In the center of the village, a large pole is put up there are brightly colored ribbons hanging from the pole too. The maypole dancers each hold onto a ribbon and do a set pattern of dances round and round the pole. It's an odd name, isn't it? It sounds like it should take place in May, not March or April. Well, the original dance comes from Germany around the 16th century, though it was done on the 1st of May. When the tradition came to the UK, we moved it to Easter time. Number four, Morris dancing. This one looks even odder than maypole dancing. Here, a group of dancers perform a very complicated dance. They hit wooden sticks together in time with the music. They have bells attached to their legs, so it's very noisy, but it is a great fun celebration. There is also a character called the Fool who entertains the crowd by annoying people with a balloon on a stick. Number five, Monday, Thursday. This tradition sees the king or queen of the United Kingdom give special Monday money to older members of the community. The money is given to pensioners who have helped their community in some way. The special coins that are made especially for this celebration and they can't be spent in shops like normal coins. Because the coins are given by the queen, they are actually worth more than the value printed on the coin. If the recipient wants to sell them, they can make a lot of money. The queen visits different parts of the country every year and is said to enjoy this Easter celebration very much. Now, before I go, let's take a look at the key vocabulary for Easter. Tradition. Treats, celebration, baking, snack, bouquet of flowers, Easter basket, egg hunt, decorate, and holiday. I hope you've enjoyed finding out more about Easter in this video. We have so much fun in England during Easter celebrations. Just like in Spain, everybody enjoys themselves a lot. Do make sure you enjoy your own Easter celebrations. Just don't eat too much chocolate. Goodbye and see you next time.